Hey, what's up? It's Leo. And Rebecca. We're kind of bummed right now. Yeah, we are really bummed uh, as we have our first cup of coffee this morning. Um, we're off the air due to some technical difficulties. There's a lot of people concerned wanting to know what's happening, what's going on. Our boss didn't pay the electric bill. That's what happened. <laughs> Gosh. No. Or it's Audrey. Just, pay it. <laughs> it's just some stuff going on that we are working tirelessly behind the scenes. Thank, shout to our engineer, Rodney, who's uh, trying to work stuff out. They're so. working on it right now, so we yeah. hope to get up as soon as possible. Um, we may need to grab some v v Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, um, we both have a face for radio. We'd rather be on the air with you right now than, um, how do I look, than being on we look fine, video. Whatever. Oh, my god! It doesn't matter. It's so early. So we thought we'd come to you via our Facebook and say hello, and we're sorry we're off the air, and hopefully we'll get it back up soon. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile. If we were on the air. Yes, here, here are some of the things we'd be talking about. Grease. Grease Live. Who watched it oh, last night man. on Fox? They threw it down. It I, was I really amazing. Thought. Julianne Huff, I think a lot of people were talking about her, how she nailed her Sandy role. She did. Um, Vanessa, she surprised me. Yeah. See, you didn't even know who she was. I didn't even know who she was. Now he's ready to watch Dancing with the Stars and because she's on there. She was really good. Uh, but Vanessa Hudgens stole the show last they night. They say definitely. Vanessa Hudgens playing Rizzo. Nailed it. Despite, here's the thing, having lost her father on Saturday night. Her dad had been in hospice care uh, for a few weeks now. He's terminally ill. And on Saturday night, she got word, while she's getting ready to do the live show on Sunday, that her father passed. They yeah. paid tribute to him during the show. They say Vanessa chose to go ahead and do the live show, uh, despite all of this, because she says, this is exactly what my dad would have wanted to do. They actually to do. told her, like, you know, you can go home and deal with this. And, and they had a study, a yeah. standby, you know, someone ready to take on her role if anything but, happened. Uh, she said, you know, my dad would want me to do this. And she did it. And... Stole the show. She was the best one by far. I think uh, she surprised me totally, man. Uh, because you didn't know who she was before this. Well, I know. I knew, no clue. I knew her more than Julian Huff. Mind you, her name's not Julian, but okay. Whatever this chica's name <laughs> is, um, I give them props. Danny was okay. I had a little problem. You know, it's tough to try to be John Travolta. Yeah. You know? John Travolta was probably the hardest role to try to nail. So, And he was a good dancer, but I don't know Anyway, what overall, two thumbs up, right? I thought it was two great. Two thumbs up for Grease hopefully last night Fox. Hopefully they'll replay it. Okay, cool. Hopefully they'll replay it. Um, what else are we talking about? Kanye West. He tweeted. Uh, remember last week, Amber Rose threw out that Kanye West likes his butt mess with her stuff with something. I don't know. <laughs> She called him out. That's what she did. Because they used to date and they used to have sexual relations and all that. So she would know. Uh, anyways, he tweeted, quote, I don't do that. I'm reading it. I stay away from that area altogether. Lies. It's a lie. I'm sorry. Like the fact that he had to tweet, I don't like the booty. To defend himself? My booty mess with or whatever. It's kind of weird. Like, like I wouldn't even have touched it. Say well, what? get it, touch it. I Stop. Would. No pun intended. Say what you want about Amber Rose. She crazy. She freaky. She a gold digger. Whatever. But I don't. I wouldn't call her a liar. No, I don't. Think I she's mean, a liar. I'm just saying. Yeah. Hey, Kanye. What to each his own. If you're a freak, fly your freak flag. <laughs> All right. What else? Um, big movies over the weekend. Kung Fu Panda number one. Yeah. And I was going to watch it and never did. I'm sad. You never. But you never anyway, yeah. It. They say it was awesome. Kung Fu Panda three. They say by far this is the best. Number one was great. Number two, eh, kind of got some mixed reviews. Number three, they say was awesome. Funny, great movie. $41 million. Wow. Number one. Uh, the other big story was the flop, Fifty Shades of Black. E. It the, only made... The Wayans brothers are our friends. Don't diss them. I'm not... No one No one watched the movie. It only made $6 million coming in at number... Holy crap. Coming in, coming in at number nine. Dirty Grandpa beat it. Wow. <laughs> the boy beat it. Wow. Right along, too. Yeah. Did better. So uh, that movie not doing so well like maybe they thought it would. So what's number two? Number two was The Revenant. Uh, and number three was Star Wars. So uh, those are the movies. The Finest Hours was number four. That's that new movie about the Coast Guard with Chris Pine. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. So, anyways. Well, there you go. Kung Fu Panda 3 was the uh, major hit. I want to watch it. Uh, the major flop, Fifty Shades of Black. Some people say that I remind them of that little panda. The pan um, with the stomach. The little little pancita. Yeah. Does he have chest hair? Stop. Does he have uh, this up. little fuzz right here? <laughs> You're right. Cover up your chest hair. You're offending some. There you go. There we go. It's too early for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's too early for you to be inappropriate Thank showing you. some skin. Anyways, Leo and Rebecca on the Facebook here. Wow. Um we're we're sorry we're not on the air. Hopefully we'll be back up soon. Let's cross our fingers. 
Let's cross our toes. Let's cross our By legs. By the way, I don't have a double chin on the air. Ooh, I don't know about all this. Wow. You know, they say if you do this, it takes away the double chin. Okay. So we're going to do these exercises. Whatever I have to do. While we uh -huh. say goodbye. Uh -huh. Bye. Oh, <laughs> this hurts. Stop it.